Hey everybody and welcome back to The Journey Coach. This is Dr. Tammy Mosier and I'm going to go over a different type of template today. In Notion number five, we covered how to set up the beginning outline of a course template. So a lecture note template, if you will. But I wanted to show you another type of template today that I've had built out to kind of give you a feel for some of the other options that you might have available here. So for this one, I'm going to do a research project template. And as you can see here, I've got a video project template, a general project template, a deep house clean template. You can set up as many templates as you want. And this is in my projects area. So I'm just going to go in here and look at the edit of the research project template, open this up as a page so you can start to kind of see how I've got this set up. And when you look at this, I have at the top this call out section. So this is a good place to add any kind of extra material. These are also projects that I share with others because everyone on the research team gets to share this. This is my toggle for the research plan. And so each of these I've colored. They're set up as toggles and they're colored. And you can open it up. And so the idea, and I'll show you a completed one here in a minute, would be that I open this aims of research and those are all written in here. And so it makes it easy at a glance to see different components of a research plan and understand what we're planning on doing. Then I have my notes and ideas. And this is a um, inline database connection to notes and ideas. So this I've titled Project Notes. And on here, I would do a filter and filter it by the actual project. So by doing it with the project, I could pick the research project, so the title up at the top, and that would populate just the notes from that project. So anytime we have a research meeting, this is where I would keep track of that meeting, the notes associated with it, and it would go in here. And then I have an action link, and this is an embed of my actual to-do items. And this again, I would filter and filter it by this particular research projects. And that way I would just see the action items. And then there's a resources section. So articles that we're using for this project, any web resources or links I want, those can go down here. So this is another example of how you can set up a template to really help you kind of see what's going on in your projects. Now, I'm gonna show you one. So I'm gonna go over to my Swasu Hub and go down to my research projects area. And I'm gonna pull up team research and open this up and this is using that template. So when I set up this project, I used it using that particular template. So I've got the area it's connected to and I have it connected to two. I have it connected to Swasu because it's a research project going through that um, university and then to research and writing. This just allows me to filter a couple of different ways based on area. I have a master tag system and so it's tagged to research. I actually have in my time here, short term, ongoing, long term, on hold. Because of the situation we're currently in, this project's on hold. Any appointments that have been related to this, action items, notes and ideas, the knowledge hub, weekly um, agendas that it's associated with, any URL specific to this. So this I might put if we have a standing Zoom uh, meeting room. In other words, if I'm working with people that are spread across multiple universities across the United States or internationally, we could have a standing Zoom room for recurring meetings and I could put it in there, which would make it easy for me to access. I have a progress formula that's based on a roll up of my action items. There's no action items on this right now. So that means we're 0% completed, but that's calculated based on the percentage of items completed. There are no items right now. Any files I want connected, a due date if we've got, and then I've got the last touch. So the last time this was opened was May 11th, and it gives me a time. I could also add another property in here for who touched it last. So if you've got a team situation going on and everybody can edit the page, that property would update both the date it was opened in time and who actually opened it last. Different people can add comments here and it can be sent. And then if you look, this, this is the same setup. Here's my research plan. It's a toggle so I can get it out of the way if I don't want to see that. But I can open it. Here's our aims for the research. Here's the hypotheses or research questions actually are what this has. The methods being used, the data collection plan, the data analysis plan. 
And so by having this here, anyone in the research project can open these up at any time. Down here, I've got an article um, connected. I also haven't moved it in here, but another item I would add is our IRB approval letter. So institutional review board letter that says that we are actually approved to do the research. That could go right here. Um, I could bold this. I could make it a heading. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do here. Because our project's on hold, we don't have any items in our action view. But here are the different meetings we've had and notes that were populated into the system. Now, one of the things you may notice is that these are set up and the dates are all over the place. So I would actually put a sort on this and sort it by date. And now you'll see it's oldest. It's, it's got the oldest to the left. I actually would rather do it descending where the newest one is to the left because that's where I look first. So by putting that sort on there, I can keep the newest meetings at the end. I'm going to delete this because it doesn't have anything in it. But as you can see, this is another example of a template that when I have a research project, I'm ready to spin up. All I have to do is go into projects and actually start <laughs> The with the template and fill in the information and all of this is ready to populate. Um, so that's another example of how you can use templates and how they can be very useful for you, whether it's class, it's an assignment, however you want to actually put this together. So the next one I'll show you is we'll actually set up a template for assignments in our action items. And so this will be another layer of use of a template in a course. So. I will see you next time on The Journey Coach. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see new ones as they come out, and I'll talk with you later.